Every parent knows that raising a child is a major responsibility financially, and the money can add up fast. But today, a conservative think tank released a report suggesting the costs are far less than previously estimated. In fact, nearly five times less. And as the CBC's Lorenda Redekop tells us, it's drawing a lot of criticism. This activity is free, but raising a child sure isn't. Diapers <laughs> um, and uh, just trying to raise like a holistic kid and feeding organic and local. Soon, 11-month-old Jack will be going to daycare for $1,500 a month. And the childcare costs have already started. I have a sitter that comes every once in a while, but still the cost of having to sit or look after him for a couple of hours is it's really high because <laughs> you want great care for your baby, right? In 2011, a study put the cost of raising a child at close to $13,000 a year. The Fraser Institute says it's as low as $3,000, depending on where you live. This is a starting point. This is what I can say with some certainty would be the base cost of raising a child in a healthy manner. You're okay. We're going to get oranges in. That includes food, clothing, household and school supplies, but not child care. And the study is based on families with just one child. 80% of them spend zero on daycare. Some people find that hard to believe. Obviously, a double and triple check my uh, my source and, and its stats can, and uh, you know it, that's the reality of various families. Sarlo wanted to do a study without any middle class bias. He says that's the problem with other studies. He says they send the wrong message to low income people, telling them that raising kids is too expensive. What I really thought was, I'm surprised that the Fraser Institute has been careless enough to put out such a patently absurd report because it's it doesn't stand up at all. This child care researcher was stunned. Many, many of them have costs that are considerably above zero. So you have to, you can't leave it out. How do you look at modern families and you don't include the cost of child care? Christine Kilby pays more than $20,000 a year for a nanny. Without that, she could possibly understand the Fraser Institute's number. It's a very low number. It's not completely out of the realm of possibility, but it's a r rather low-end number, especially for the city. She wants to do what she can for little James, meaning she'll be spending much more than $3,000 a year. Lorenda Redekop, CBC News, Toronto.